Reducing the amount of child sexual abuse material that exists online is a critical step towards target zero. But can we realistically hope for an internet that's free of online child sexual exploitation? Toby Dagg is Head of Investigations at Australia's Office of the eSafety Commissioner. I think the answer to that question is yes. And I think we'll get there probably sooner than we realised. What we are seeing now are the fruits of significant investment in ideas and technology that help us automate a lot of the work that we need to be doing. So at some point, we will catch up and we will make the internet a very hostile place for the hosting of child abuse material because industry is coming to, on to realise more and more as well that it does have a fundamental role to play here. And as AI develops as well and machine learning algorithms become more and more sophisticated, the likelihood that we'll detect new material as well becomes greater too. So when we have those technologies mesh together and we've got industry coming on board to demonstrate their leadership through their own sectors by taking these technologies on as part of their normal business operations, the less likely it becomes for the bad guys to find options to scale their own distribution and they get pushed into uh, less and less viable corners of the internet until you know the landscape is made more or less hostile to them which would be a great thing if we displace that activity into the kinds of areas where they can be you know sort of better observed then the better.